recently started a Patreon, and many of you wonderful sea monkeys are supporting me there. And this uh, is something that I'm going to post on my blog is a paid post tomorrow, right from the boat. <coughs> and uh, it is about kind of an annoyance that I have, in which a lot of people that I have conversations with about politics say that they want politicians who just think like normal people do and care about the stuff that we all care about. And we're great and everything, but we care about a lot of bullshit. <laughs> so I wrote a, a little political debate about the kind of thing that we all spend a lot of time thinking about on the internet, and that is, which is better, cats or dinosaurs? <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get lynched. <laughs> So we'll see how, how you guys feel about this. Uh, Mr. Paul F. Tompkins. Yes, sir. You will be playing the part of the cat supporter. Of course. Many <laughs> cats. And I will be playing the part of the dinosaur supporter. <laughs> I see what it is. Yeah. Big dinosaur crash. Really, yes. Big dinosaur crash. Got to win them over block. I don't think there are actual dinosaurs at this show. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. There are probably some furries, so. <laughs> so, enjoy cats versus dinosaurs. Friends, neighbors, pet lovers, I'm a simple man with simple belief. Yes, I said belief. I only have one, and it is this. Cats are awesome. I intend to prove this with a simple mnemonic device. The three C's. Cats are cute. Cats are cuddly. Cats will lick their own crotches while staring at you with judgment in their eyes. That is bold. Over the course of this debate, I will ask you to remember the three C's. Cute, cuddly, rock licking. It's just that simple, America. With uh, respect to my opponent, dinosaurs have everything that cats have and much more. Take, for example, the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex. Is a T-Rex cute? Yes. They have those tiny, adorable little arms. <laughs> just imagine them doing things like opening a jar of peanut butter, or smoking a little e-cigarette, or putting on a condom. How cute is that? Is a T-Rex cuddly? Yes. A T-Rex would give anyone a giant hug with its mouth, because it is the best predator the world has ever known. Now, I am the first to admit, it, I'm on record with this, a T-Rex cannot lick its own crotch, but there are several dinosaurs who can. Take, for example, the Diplodocus. With a neck almost 20 feet long, there's frankly nothing it could not lick. There are thousands of different cool dinosaurs, but a cat is just a cat. You son of a bitch. There are millions of different kinds of cats. There are Sassy pants cats, cutie pie cats, cool customer cats, cats who like their bellies rubbed, and cats who like their ears scratched. Why, sir, there is a whole different group of cats you may have heard of called kittens. <laughs> They're like normal cats, but more potent. They are the crack cocaine of the cat world. They are weaponized cute. You bastard person. It is an insult to America to describe a kitten as a weapon. You want to talk about weapons? Let's talk about the Pachycephalosaurus. Its skull was ten inches thick. But just one Pachycephalosaurus could defeat entire communities of cats by smacking them with its head. A cat would pop up and whack. It would be the most beautiful and disturbing game of whack-a-mole the world has ever seen. I do not agree. I do not agree. Any cat would be any dinosaur in a fight, and I will tell you how. The cats would wait. They would wait just a few million years, and the dinosaur would turn into a bird. And the cat would eat it. And I would take a picture of that, and put it on Facebook, 
and all of my friends would like it. <laughs> let's, let's talk common sense. Dinosaurs don't even have to fight cats. The cats of today are defeating themselves with their rampant abuse of the street drug commonly known as catnip. Hey, I make no argument that catnip is a major issue in the cat community. But the drug abuse is just a symptom of larger economic and class issues. <laughs> That's it! Many of our most famous cats have resisted the siren call of this deadly narcotic. Garfield, Hello Kitty, the hang in there cat from the motivational poster. <laughs> I ask you, sir, what would a dinosaur themed motivational poster say? Hang in there until we all get killed by a giant space rock? <laughs> That is uncalled for, sir. That is uncalled for. But I have come to expect such uncivilized attacks from someone who loves such an uncivilized animal as a cat. Uncivilized? Cats poop in a box! <laughs> Where do dinosaurs poop? Literally everywhere. Montana, China, middle of an Ikea store. Doesn't matter to a dinosaur. Yes, yes, dinosaurs did indeed poop everywhere. Give me those fossil fuels! That is dubious science at best, sir. <laughs> America, when you get in your car and drive yourself to the hospital after you have contracted tacoplasmosis or some other disease from cat poop, remember your car is running on ancient dinosaur shit. And say, thanks dinosaurs, thanks for pooping everywhere. And no thanks cats for all the horrible diseases. Cats do not give humans diseases. Cats have given human society one of the most dangerous social diseases of our time. I am, of course, speaking of cat ladies. <laughs> Strange, agoraphobic hoarders who collect cats like they were Pokemon trading cards. <laughs> well, dinosaurs have also created a menace to society. What? What menace? Dinosaur kids. What the hell is a dinosaur kid? A dinosaur kid is a normally sweet, polite child who will absolutely LOSE THEIR SHIT if an adult says one mildly incorrect fact about a dinosaur. <laughs> that is a slanderous stereotype. <laughs> is it? Why, even adult fans of dinosaurs cannot stop themselves from shouting obnoxious pedantic corrections about dinosaur factoids. For example, if I said something like, a triceratops has four horns, all located on its buttocks. <laughs> Or did you know that a brontosaurus ate only meat and was actually covered with a thick layer of sequins? <laughs> That's right. Everyone knows the brontosaurus was basically a giant meat-loving showgirl. <laughs> and the velociraptor. Oh boy, the velociraptor was the biggest dinosaur of them all. <laughs> it was roughly 8,000 feet tall. It had claws for eyelashes. It only ate marijuana plants, and as a result, Velociraptors pooped Grateful Dead CDs. <laughs> oh, plus, Velociraptors always wore fedoras. Stop it! Stop it, you monster! There's no reason to be oversensitive. Be like a cat and play it cool. Uh. Garfield is stupid. It's a terrible cartoon. It's about a cat who eats lasagna. It's an advertisement for a heart disease. It's a better cartoon without the cat in it. Does that upset you? Why don't you just hang in there? Uh. Ah. Hey. Hey, this is too far. You're right. Sorry. Sorry that was unfair. We both said some hurtful things. Let's just call it truce. I admit there are many cool things about cats. I can see that not all dinosaurs were great big stupid heads. In fact, I would, I would like to reach across the aisle and say the best animal of all would be a monstrous cat-dinosaur hybrid. Indeed. A compromise is exactly what America deserves. A compromise in the form of a, a giant, furry, Tyrannosaurus kitty rex. It would be cute and clever. It would poop in a box. It would have a skull at least two miles thick. <laughs> but as God is my witness, it would find a way to lick its own crotch. <laughs> That's what America deserves. Thank you.